Welcome back, guys and girls. Welcome back to DVDs, Nuts, and Popcorn. All right, hopefully you guys have watched the first installment of this series. This is number two. In the first one, we covered an epic Godzilla lot that I found at Goodwill. This time is going to be a much bigger video. We're going to cover all the horror movie pickups that I picked up in 2021 thus far from Goodwill and thrift stores. Now, I want to give a shout out real quick here to Super Duper Gaming World, one of my favorite subscribers. So he has this program, I think it's called Garage Band, where he makes his own instrumentals. So in the beginning of this video, in the hunting sequences at Goodwill, you heard that instrumental. That's from him. Original content from my understanding. So shout out to him. He's going to be doing a lot of the uh, beats and instrumentals for a lot of these videos moving forward. Now, we're going to do it a little bit different this time. We're going to go back to the house, and I'm going to show you everything horror movie related that I picked up in 2021, guys. All right, now, let's head back to the Casa and see what I got. Oh, yeah. All right, guys and girls, I had three goals when I woke up this morning. Brush my teeth, go buy some beer, and record the rest of this video. And we, right now, I'm two for two, so let's get to the third part. And so, everything I'm going to show you guys right here, again, as I mentioned in the car, everything I picked up in 2021, pretty much horror movie related. Now, I don't remember everything I got. I know in the last video I told you exactly what I paid for everything. I'm not going to do this on this video, but just remember, everything that I'm going to show you right now was either 75 cents, a dollar, a dollar twenty-five, a dollar ninety-nine, or two dollars and ninety-nine cents around there. So from the seventy-five cent range all the way up to three bucks. Okay. That being said, let's get to it. First, and by the way, this is the first time I'm recording in here any kind of DVD stuff, so we might have to fight with the glare a little bit. First movie on Blu-ray, Frozen. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have some glare issues. This is a really cool uh, movie right here. They get stuck on a ski lift somehow overnight. The people that work there forget that they sent someone else out on the run. They are at the top of a ski lift. It's almost impossible to jump. They would, you know, possibly kill themselves. Then they don't know what to do. It's below freezing weather. And then all of a sudden, wolves get introduced to the movie. This is like Jaws in the snow, man. It's really a good flick. Next up, I picked this up actually from Dollar Tree. This is not a Goodwill pickup. So I paid a dollar for The Conjuring 2. With the slip cover, we have Friday the 13th Uncut Deluxe Edition. This is the lenticular cover. Pretty cool. I've already watched this. Um... It's hosted by Tom Savini, and it has a bunch of the directors and, uh, you know, doing interviews and stuff. It has a lot of extra features on it. I highly recommend this if you're a Friday the 13th fan. As I throw it right at Friday the 13th unintentionally. All right, this has the seal on it still, so definitely going to be some glare here. This is a, uh, a serious roll by Nicolas Cage. No campy stuff here. 8 millimeter. It's been a while since I've seen this, but uh, I think this has to do with a uh, you know, black market for maybe some uh, some some sex sex ring or some child pornography. And uh, yeah, it's a real nasty flick and uh, definitely uh, well done. I remember that being a good movie. All right, I think this is the second part in the movie. It says it's from the Twisted Writers of Saw. So yeah, it does have some Saw influence, but the collection is not just a ripoff of Saw. Uh, number one, this guy actually, and I don't know, I haven't seen all the Saw movies, and I don't remember all the Saw movies, but this guy actually, if I remember correctly, breaks into people's houses and then sets the trap and sets up like recording devices and stuff, and that's how he kills them. So I don't think in the Saw franchise they did that, but I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. But the collection, yeah, this is the second part in the series. I think there's going to be a part three, or at least there's rumors of it. Guy has a really cool mask. I definitely enjoy that, the series so far. 
All right, here, here's it. Here's one right here we got to talk about. So with a lenticular cover, Lost Boys the Tribe. And that's a really cool lenticular cover. Slip. So, all right. So I watched this the other night. And, you know, it got really bad reviews on Rotten Tomatoes. But I don't always pay attention to that stuff. Because a lot of movies I like, they get bad, bad reviews. Whether it's from critics or the audience members. So the critics completely panned this one. It had like a zero. And uh, the audience, I think, was around 30-something. But anyway... Listen, if you're a super diehard Lost Boys fan and you're just dying to get more out of the series and you just want something else, I can recommend this because the cinematography, a lot of it is really good in this movie. It's super gory and uh, the problem is the dialogue is just terrible. The acting is really bad. Um, this guy right here is actually, which I thought was cool. I thought this was a pro in this movie that they actually got Angus Sutherland to be the head vampire. And of course, in the first one, they had Kiefer Sutherland, but he's so bland. It's su such a comatose performance that it's ruined by that. A lot of people say the best part of this is Corey Feldman, but his dialogue is so bad and repetitive that I disagree. I, I don't think it's, it's great. Now I did hear that part three is better than part two. So I'm going to seek out part part three. Hopefully I can find it at Goodwill real, really soon. But uh, yeah, that's about all I got to say about that movie. All right. I don't really need to say anything about this. I found this factory sealed at Goodwill. Halloween 2. Another movie I really don't have too much to say about. Nightmare on Elm Street is definitely my favorite in the series. I know a lot of people like part two. Part two has a lot of homo homoerotic stuff in it. And that's not why I don't like it, guys. I'm just saying. Nightmare on Elm Street, uh, they actually just had a documentary about the uh, about what I was just saying. But yeah, Nightmare on Elm Street, absolute classic. Nightmare on Elm Street 2 is really cool as well. All right, now, I don't know if this would even be considered horror, but I found this. Actually, this is uh, this is from a thrift store. I got this for a dollar. Um, yeah, I've never seen this movie before. Machete. I guess it's kind of a grindhouse. Yeah, it's a Robert Rodriguez uh, flick. It's got Robert De Niro. Whoever thought that this guy, uh, Danny Trejo, which actually went to prison, man. He had a hard life, would be the lead actor, and Robert De Niro would be the... The secondary actor. That's pretty funny. I think I've seen an interview where they actually laughed about that. All right, this is produced by uh, M. Night Shyamalan. This is a movie. This is a pretty good movie. I like it. It wasn't directed by him, but definitely some influence in there. Devil. It's a movie about you not knowing who the devil is. And a lot of it has to be do, obviously, with being trapped in the elevator with people that you don't know, you know, anything about them. So yeah, cool flick right there. Highly recommend it if you haven't seen it. All right. Another, uh, Dollar Tree pickup here. I'm a huge witch fan, man. I love witch movies. And this is one of the best, if not the best witch movies of all time. Picked this up for $1. Carrie. I haven't even opened that yet. Very cool artwork. I forget the name of the guy. Uh, I think it's a Mexican guy who did all the artwork for a lot of these uh, horror movie releases. I think I'm going to show you some more of these uh, artwork. And forgive me if he's not from Mexico. I'm not. He's definitely Spanish. All right, now, next up here, we have uh, VHS. The VHS series kind of is very loved and hate hated by people. It's a very mixed bag. I think the first one was good. I remember one of them just seeing like the cameraman and like strings. Maybe I didn't see the cameraman. Yeah, I think I did see the cameraman. It was just really poorly edited, but I don't remember what part that was. All right, now next up here we have, well, let me show these together. Let me see if I can find the other one here. Oh, no, I can't find it for some reason. That's weird. All right, we'll just move on here. All right, we got a cool quad pack here. Four movie marathon. Actually, I just saw this for the first time. I had it on Laserdisc, but it didn't work. I only was able to watch half of it. Um, 
and really enjoyed it. Toby Hooper flick, man. Toby Hooper's um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre and how the characters in that movie seem like they were, they weren't even actors. They seemed like they were real crazy people. He did just a good a job in this with the carnival characters. They really seem like carnies in this movie, man. Great friggin' movie. Phantasm 2, a lot of people's favorite in the Phant Phantasm series. Uh, in The Serpent and the Rainbow, very good flick. I've never seen S -S, the aptly named S -S, but it's already won my heart right there because of the name. Definitely need to check that out. Snake movie, of course. All right. Now, if I can learn to talk, we can finish the rest of this video. All right, well, there it is. There's the one I was looking for. So, first of all, we have the remake, The Hills Have Eyes. It's been a while since I've seen this, but I think this got good reviews. And then we have, with the slipcover, The Hills Have Eyes 2, unrated. Not sure on this one. I, I can't remember anything from this movie, to be honest with you. But those are both the remakes. And one of my favorite Texas Chainsaw Massacre movies ever. And I'll just go ahead and say it. This might be a little bit controversial. Not too, I don't think it's too controversial. This is my second favorite Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie of all time. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the beginning. Unrated. With the slipcover. Absolute masterpiece. I love this friggin' movie. A lot of people like the remake with a... Big ass Jessica Biel, but this one right here edges it out definitely in my opinion. And uh, of course, the first one, the OG one, is the best of all time. But this is my second on the list, guys. Really cool flick. All right, I am a huge fan of the Piranha series. I didn't even know this one existed. I think this might be. I know they had Piranha 1 and 2. I think I have both of those on Laserdisc. And then they had Piranha 3D, which I absolutely love. It's such a great... I think that was the remake. And this is the next, I think, in the series. And it has David Hasselhoff in it. Piranha DD. Now, this is about as campy as you're going to get out of any of the Piranha movies. But it is absolutely hilarious. You guys have to check this out. It's got Nick Nolte in it. It's got the guy from, uh, and I'm, I, I don't know why I can't think of his name right now. It's got the guy from, uh, what is that guy's name? The Doc from uh, Back to the Future. I love that guy. And yeah, man, really cool flick. You can't take that one too seriously. All right, speaking of not taking stuff too seriously, seriously, this is the first time I've ever found this out in the wild, actually. It's factory sealed. Probably sells between 30 and 40 bucks, but I don't know. I'll probably open it up unless I find an open copy in the near future. Ernest Scared Straight. No, Scared Stupid, actually. Scared Straight. I'm thinking of the uh, the uh, the jail movies where they scare the kids. Uh, Ernest Scared Stupid. And my stupidity on this, by the way, no pun, is I've never really watched any of the Ernest movies. I was never into those coming up, growing up, so I don't know... Why I missed out on those, but I'm definitely interested in introducing myself to the series and starting to watch these. And this is going to be my first one. And I think a lot of people love this one. Lots of movies here, guys. All right. Stephen King's It, the original. Now, this is a much hated Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and this is down on the list for me as well. But I did enjoy parts of it. Texas Chainsaw. Hate when they do that. I mean, why don't you tell us what part in the series it is? I think that is, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think that's seven in the series. Correct me if I'm wrong. All right, next up we have a four favorite King of Horror. These are all Stephen King movies. We have Dreamcatcher, which I don't remember watching. We have Dolores Claiborne. We have Cat's Eye, classic. We have Creep Show, classic. And that is Factory Sealed. All Goodwill finds, guys. 
from 75 cents to three bucks. All right, next up here we have Freddy versus Jason. I actually just watched this for the first time the other night. Now I probably watched parts, bits and parts of it in the past, but this is the first time I watched it from beginning to end. And it's just a ridiculous movie. I mean, it's not, it's not a good movie, guys. I'm not going to front. I love the Friday the 13th series. It's right up there with Texas Chainsaw Massacre to me, but that's not a good movie. All right, next movie here, one of my favorite movies of all time. was super happy about getting this one. I think this was actually $3.99 for some reason, but I got 75% off on this. Evil Dead 2 on Blu-ray. And I, I think I heard the transfer on this was really, really good. But I have not watched this, uh, this edition yet. If you haven't seen that, you're not a horror fan. Simple and plain. Alright, next up here. Another classic. Fright Night. I'm actually a big fan of Fright Night 2 as well. Can we get a Fright Night 3? Come on. All right, now speaking of, I showed you Piranha DD. This is a lot better than Piranha DD. And I like Piranha DD, so that says a lot. Piranha the remake. I can't remember the guy's name. Let me see if I can pull out his name real quick here. Oh, Christopher Lloyd was the one in the other movie that I was telling you about. So Christopher Lloyd, I think, is in this one as well. And, oh, okay, Jerry O'Connell. Jerry O'Connell is great in this movie. You got to see the boat scene where he's on the boat with the chicks, getting naked, sniffing the cocaine. It is absolutely hilarious. All right, next up. I cannot remember if I've seen this. And by the way, I don't just collect. I will be watching all, any movie that I have not seen in here, I will be watching, but I have watched most of them. This movie right here got a lot of shit, but I love Jeepers Creepers. One and two, so I definitely need to check this one out. Jeepers Creepers, part three. All right, here we go. We're getting there right here. All right, we got another four-pack right here. Man, I was super happy about picking this up. I got this at Half Price Books, I think, for like maybe $7.99 or $5.99. I can't remember now. And I watched all of them over again. I hadn't watched them in years. Psycho is such a... Oh, you know what? I just realized something. Oh, I know what I did. I watched Psycho on Laserdisc, and then I went to 2, 3, 4. I have not watched The Bates Motel. I've heard this is shit. Love all of the Psycho movies. I really have no complaints with them. Uh, they're After one, they get campy as fuck. But still, I highly re uh, recommend that series, man. Really cool. The first one has no camp. Well, it might have some camp in it, but it's way more straight-laced and serious than the other ones. All right, another person that gets a lot of hate, Rob Zombie. This is Factory Sealed, Halloween, Unrated, the director's cut. I think two is better than this one, but... I don't hate the fact that he made these movies. I actually get some enjoyment out of this one. Yeah, it could have been better, but I don't know. I still like it. Then we have Wrong Turn. This will be controversial. I think Wrong Turn is overrated. And actually, I like Wrong Turn 2 Dead End better. But I'm a fan of the Wrong Turn series. Actually, the, the new Wrong Turn that just came out, I enjoyed that as well. Here's another. This was $3 at half price of books. This is the uh, Wrong Turn 2. Individual copy. And then we have When a Stranger Calls and Happy Birthday to Me. I think I own Happy Birthday to Me on Laserdisc. We got a dual pack right here. Dawn of the Dead and Land of the Dead. And it does have a slip cover. Classic film right here, Leprechaun. I think that was the first movie that the girl from Friends played in. What was her name? Jennifer Aniston, I think. Yeah. 
Love it. All right, now I picked this up factory sealed. You saw this in the beginning of the video during the hunting sequences. Now, I am not a massive fan of the Saw series. I saw the first Saw maybe two times and I loved it. It was a really good movie. I most likely have seen two and enjoyed it, but I just can't remember. And I don't know which movies I've seen in the series, okay? So there's seven films in the series. Maybe I saw four of them and I just don't remember a couple of them. But anyway, I do like Saw, like I said in the beginning of this, but um, I'm happy that I got this so I can watch the whole series and judge it. Because a lot of people have problems with the Saw series. They say one's good, two's good, the rest suck. But uh, I know Spiral's coming out right now with Chris Rock. So this is a good time for me to, you know, watch the whole entire series and uh, get a better assessment on the series. So I thought that was great. $2.99 for that. And then we have M. Night Shyamalan's Split. Really cool flick. Definitely enjoy that. That's basically... Uh, not untouchable. What is it called? Unbreakable part two right there. Next up we have Stephen King's The Mist. Cool grocery store horror flick. Absolute amazing ending to that. All right, now I'm a big fan of Lou Diamond Phillips. I feel like when he did La Bamba... The other guy in the film, I think, won Best Actor Award and really kind of took his shine away from him. I thought he was amazing in La Bamba. So I'm a big fan of his. And this is Bats. Very campy Bat movie. Lots of great practical effects. Definitely highly recommend this, uh, this movie for sure. All right, we're getting close to the end here, guys. This was really cool. This is a, uh, I think this is a European release. Yeah, it is a European release. So you won't find this in America. So I found this at a Goodwill, obviously in America, because I'm American. The Blade Trilogy. Look at that shit. It's got like a metallic finish to it. And it's crazy because this is nuts. I've never seen any of the Blade movies, man. I could not believe it. I, just, I was thinking about it the other day. I was like, man, everybody's seen Blade. So I popped in Blade 1. Where is it at? And watched that and absolutely loved it. Now, let me tell you something. I am not a CGI guy. And this had a ton of CGI in it. But it also had some practical stuff in there too. I just look at a movie like this, especially back then. The stuff that they're doing in this movie, it would have been almost impossible. It probably would have been impossible to make it all practical effects. So you got to give it a break. Uh, the CGI is not terrible. But there's a few scenes where I'm like, what the fuck? But anyway, yeah. So now I'm going to watch two and three and uh, yeah. And next time we talk about this series, I'll be able to give you a better, uh, a better assessment of it. All right. Now, why do I feel like I've shown you, showed you this already? I feel like I showed you this already, but maybe I'm tripping. Did I show it this already? Well, if I did, I'm showing it twice. Maybe I have two copies of this. His name was Jason. This is a Jason documentary with Tom Savini as the uh, host. With the slip cover, highly recommend that. Now, something that I... HBO. This is an HBO thing that I just absolutely love. Series that I love. Tales from the Crypt. Now, what was crazy about this is... Oh, no. I'm thinking about something else. So... Found this at Goodwill. First, or no, the complete fourth season and the complete first season. So there's some of the, maybe you can recognize some of the, uh, the scenes there. Absolutely love this series, man. Definitely am happy about getting the chance to revisit this. I would, I would like to, to go ahead. I don't know. How, I can't remember how many seasons there are, but I definitely want all of them. Got that for 75% off. I remember that. All right. This is a really cool horror pack here. Let me name these off rapid fire real quick here. Waxworth, 976 Evil 2, Ghoulies 3, Chud 2, The Unholy, Chopping Mall, uh, Slaughter High, and Class of 1999. 
amazing collection of horror movies. The only ones that I have not seen are Chud 2, which I'm, sh I'm ashamed to say that, because I grew up on Chud. Cannibalistic humanoid underground dweller. Uh, the Unholy. I probably seen Slaughter High when I was a kid. I just don't remember. Or I don't know. I have to check what year that came out. And I definitely haven't seen Class in 1999. Ghoulies go to, go to school, go to college is just ridiculous. It's so fucking hilarious. Oh, you know what? I have another. I have the actually have the second season as well. I forgot to show you guys that. Very cool. All right, that's it. Oh no, I got three more things here. I've already showed you guys this, but I found this factory sealed as well. And it's hard to pass up on stuff like this for two bucks or whatever it was. Freddy vs. Jason with the factory seal on the top. And obviously one of Stephen King's favorite horror movies in the last 20 years because it's written on the front of the box. Now, okay, so... All right, guys, sorry, I had a little technical difficulty there. All right, so last movie, and I have two uh, editions of this, the DVD and the Blu-ray, and according to Stephen King, this is the best American horror film in the last 20 years. So I'll go ahead and show you the American version first. Let me in. I am an insane fan for this movie, man. This movie is so freaking good. Now, if you are a a horror purist you're gonna shit all over the remake which i think you're you're absolutely an idiot and you're gonna say no the, the swedish version which by the way i have this with and without the slip cover i don't know why it's not doing the i guess you oh there it is so obviously this one's called let the right one in this is the sweden or the swedish version of it and like i said purists will say this is the best movie this Without a doubt, I'm going to tell you right now, if you don't want to read subtitles, you're not missing too much by watching the American version. I actually think the American version has better acting in it. Now, and you know what? The last scene in the movie, which is the most dramatic and craziest scene, I think is, is done better in the American version. So, let me just show you the, the actual the regular case without the slip in it. But you can't go wrong with either one of these movies. I'm not going to argue and say that the American version is better than this. I'm just going to say that if you don't want to read subtitles, this is definitely not the one for you. And this one right here does a, uh, an amazing job of remaking that. So, yeah, man. All right. So that is it for the video. Thank you guys for checking it out. I hope you enjoyed. All right, guys, I'm in the car. Where am I heading? I'm heading to Goodwill, of course. Now, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash the like button. Also, smash the notification bell so you can be alerted to content coming very soon. All right, guys, thanks for checking out the video, and I'll see you in the next one.